I won't be an elephant or a crocodile. It's always an animal when they ask her what she wants to be when she grows up. Joy was born with a genetic disease. It took away her vision. She has a little vision on the right eye, but the doctor is concerned that she probably could lose that vision. Joy's mother brought Joy into Lucille Packard Children's Hospital when she was an infant. Ultimately, her molecular testing came back and it confirmed Joy has labor congenital amaurosis, which is a retinal dystrophy and would be classified as legally blind. She actually has learned Braille and she has compensated very well given her very limited amount of vision. I have three kids. I used to live in Daly City in a two bedroom apartment with my sister. And just one day she got a notice from the landlord that she had 60 days to move out. When the 60-day notice expired, Patricia and her children left the apartment, as did her sister, and they separated, which I think was really harmful because the families had really been living together for a long time. They went to a county resource, were given a voucher to go into a hotel for a few nights until a spot could be found for them in a family shelter, which is where they are now. Joy became really angry. She kept asking why we had to leave, why we lost the house, why we couldn't just go back to the house. And she just started changing, acting up with my income and three kids in the household. It's really hard to find a place anywhere in the Summitel County. The housing crisis in the Bay Area has just increased the pressures and stresses on low-income families. So families are finding that they have to spend more of their income on rent. Other times families are finding that they have to stay in housing that's maybe unsafe or has unsanitary conditions. We see over and over again in clinic families living in substandard housing that impacts child health as well as overcrowding housing conditions. We're seeing a lot of families not staying in one place, needing to move, which creates a lot of disruption for children and impacts consistent care. When we meet with the families or speak with the families by phone, they don't want to take any action to address their housing conditions because they're so fearful that it will lead to them losing their housing. In our county, landlords can evict tenants for no reason which makes it really difficult for families like Patricia's who have really limited income and can't really keep up with the market pressures that are kind of constantly increasing rates. The cost of living in the San Francisco Bay Area is directly leading to housing insecurity for our patients and their families and negatively impacting child health. We're seeing a lot of families needing to make choices about paying rent or buying food. I have noticed that in my practice in the last few years there's been an increase in the number of families who have either been relocated or sadly are now very transient and simply living out of their cars. All children are impacted by not having a secure, safe place to live. For children who have a complicated medical condition, the impact of housing insecurity is even greater. Since Joy has very limited sight, she needs to feel comfortable in her environment. And when you then transplant that child to an unknown situation, you have to start from ground zero again. In Patricia's case, she's considering moving outside of the county, which may be great because she might be able to find an apartment she can afford in another area, but that would separate Joy from the entire sort of health team and support network she has here in this county.
I've been calling apartments, I've been calling rooms for rent, and filling out applications, sending applications out to different locations. But they've been turning me down, so it, it's very hard. <laughs> Patricia's in this temporary shelter right now, and if Patricia's not able to find housing for her family, there's a very good chance that the shelter's gonna say she has to leave. There's just not a sufficient supply of low-income housing in this area to support the need. And despite all Patricia's hard work and her best efforts to find housing for her family, everything's working against her right now. I'm not sure what will happen. I just hope to be in a stable place for me and my kids and we could just be happy again. <laughs>